Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to look at the BBC Microbit and I'm going to show you how you can start using a Microbit without even owning one. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the BBC Microbit is a microcomputer that you can use to start teaching computer science and coding. Now, a lot of schools are getting on board and purchasing Microbits but they have an online platform that you can start using today without owning one. And that's what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and open up that website. Now the website you're looking for is makecode.microbit.org. Now on this website, there are plenty of tutorials and it's also where you are going to program all your code in order to send it to a physical microbit once you own one. However, they have a virtual microbit that you can start using and it works on all devices. Now, you can program your microbit using their own make blocks. You can use JavaScript and you can now use Python. So let's go ahead and open up our website. Now, once on the website, you will see as you scroll down, there is a number of different projects. Now, the first project I would like you to look at is the Flashing Hearts project. So let's go ahead and open up the Flashing Hearts project and you will see this is a tutorial. Now at the top there are five steps and it will walk you through each step. As mentioned, you will see in the top left corner you have your virtual micro bit. This is where you can see your code in action. And then on the right hand side you have your coding screen. This is your workspace where you're going to place your code. Now this one starts off very easy. It's going to ask you to simply place the code for the LED lights inside your forever loop. And this way you're going to draw a heart shape onto your micro bit. Now here you'll see that they're giving you a little bit of an explanation about what you're creating. Simply click on OK and then follow the steps. You can see here there is a show LEDs block inside the forever loop. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's click on basic, take our show LED lights, put it inside the forever and let's go ahead and draw our heart shape. Now what makes this so fun to use is that you can draw this and instantly see the result on the left hand side. So you will now see that heart shape. Now in order to make it blink, you will see in the next step it will tell you you're going to have to add a blank one. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The second step within the forever loop will be to have a blank LEDs block. So let's go ahead and click on basic. We're going to click on show LEDs and place that inside our forever block but behind the show LEDs. Now what that does is it makes the LED lights blink. So we're going to click on next, it shows us what it should look like. And then as we get to the end, it is going to prompt us to click on download and send this code onto our physical micro bit. Now, if you do not have a micro bit, you can simply click on exit tutorial. This will bring you back to the home screen. And then on this home screen, there are many more tutorials. Now, I will walk you through three more, and these are very simple tutorials, but they each highlight a different function. So the next one we're going to open up together is the name tag tutorial. Once the tutorial has opened, you're going to see that again, you get all the information right there in your screen. Instead of using the LEDs block right now, we are going to use a string. So let's go ahead and find that block right now. We're going to go to basic and then show string. Now we're going to place this string inside our forever block. So let's go ahead and place that inside our forever block and let's type flipped because we are on the flipped classroom tutorial site. Here we go. We're going to click on next and you can now see that on my micro bit in the left hand corner, it is displaying the word flipped. Now the next step will be to add a second string. So we can now add a second string. Let's go back to basic, show string, and let's add the second string. And on the second string, we're going to write classroom tutorials. Let me just use this opportunity to remind you of our new domain in order to find our channel. You can simply go to flippedclassroomtutorials.com or flippedtutorials.com. 
As you can see here, it is displayed on my micro bits. And then when I click on next, it is prompting me again to send this to our micro bits. Now, micro bits are incredibly powerful. They're not only great for your students to try and incorporate coding into their everyday activities, they're wonderful for STEM STEAM activities and also maker spaces. Now, before we dive into the next tutorial, let me know in the comment section below how you might be using a micro bit in your classrooms. I would love to hear some of the ideas ideas that you've got to use these micro bits. Now once you've done that, scroll back up and we can dive into the smiley button tutorial. Now the smiley button tutorial is different as it's not going to just use the LED lights but also the input buttons. You might have noticed on the virtual one that there are two buttons. There's an A button and a B button. Now the A and B buttons are each on their own side but we can set it up so that whenever we click on the button a response follows. So let's go ahead and test that out right now. We're going to open up the smiley button tutorial. Once inside this tutorial, you will notice that we are now asked to take a new block. We're no longer just using the forever, but we're going to use an on button pressed. Now this is an input code. So let's go ahead and click on input, on button A pressed. So when button A is pressed, I'm going to show the following LED lights. Now, this can be a smiley face. So let's go ahead and draw a smiley face. Now you can draw anything you want. You can have this be a smiley face, but you can also just display a letter or a word. On the next screen, it's going to ask us to code our second input and that will be our B. So let's go ahead and add a second one. We're going to do on button. And similar to scratch, we can simply click on this button to change it into B. Show the LED lights. Now, as you can see, it is very easy to draw LEDs. And then the final one is going to show us how we can create an animation when A and B are pressed at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's select input. I'm going to add this as well. Now let's say you run out of space. You can always click on the zoom out and this will create more real estate on your workspace. So let's go ahead and select our LED lights one more time. And this time we're going to create an animation for the A, B. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with little eyes that point to the right, a smiley face. And then we're going to add a second one and these are going to be little smiley eyes pointing to the left. So what happens now is whenever I press A and B at the same time, it's going to go right, left. Now you will see in the top left corner on your virtual micro bit, because we are unable to press A and B at the same time, we now have a virtual A plus B button. This button does not appear on the actual physical micro bits, but on your virtual micro bits, you now have two buttons. So let's go ahead and press that A button. And you will see as you press the A button, your smiley face appears. Let's press the B button and you'll see you have that sad face. Now, when you click on that virtual button, A plus B, you'll see a very short little animation. Now, this is great to demonstrate to your students how input works and you can trial all your code before actually downloading the file onto a physical micro bit. So I would highly recommend you looking into this platform. Now, I did mention earlier that you can also code using JavaScript and Python. Let me just quickly show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and click on finish. Now here on your homepage, you will see at the top, those are all the projects that you've recently worked on. So let's go ahead and open up one of these recent projects. Now you will see it's no longer in a tutorial form because we've already created the files. So what we can do now is at the top, we can switch between blocks and JavaScript. So let's go ahead and look at the JavaScript side of it. When you click on JavaScript, you will see that everything is changed into JavaScript code. You can now add your own code to this and then switch back to blocks and it'll automatically transfer that. So this is a great way of introducing the text-based languages to your students that are ready for it. Now, if you wanna challenge your students even more, yes, Python is also available. Now, Python is available on a separate platform. So let's go ahead and look at that. Now, in order to get access to the Python platform, you're going to have to click on the Microbit logo in the top left corner. And you will see as you scroll down, there is Android, iOS, Microsoft, and even Swift Playgrounds. Now, the one we're looking for is down below, and it is where it says Python. So let's go ahead and click on the Python editor. We're going to click on Let's Code. And this brings us into the Python platform. Now, the Python platform looks very different. There are no more blocks, but you can now code your Microbits using Python and then again, send those files onto your micro bit, which is a microcomputer, 
and execute it to do various different things. Now, micro bits have been used in robots, in robotic arms, and in lots of makerspace projects. I hope you found this helpful. Please dive into that comment section below and let's just exchange some of the projects that we've all built. And I'd love to get some ideas on what to make next. If you enjoyed this tutorial, do let me know and I will make some more micro bit tutorials in the future. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.